Hello guys, welcome to FlossTube and number 23. It's Saturday. It's the 5th of September. Can you imagine? It's already September. Um, what are we going to start with? I'm going to try to do this short as usual. I kind of typically... Tip Never mind. Uh, let's go to um, comments and questions uh, for the last videos. Um, I asked you to comment on uh, the question of the week, which was about what it is that draws you in to oh, uh, which design you want to want to stitch and all. <clears throat> let's get some more color in the back. Yes, and um, I got all kinds of answers. I just enjoyed to reading them all, really. So I enjoyed every comment. I haven't commented on all of them, but I've given you a heart and a thumbs up. And it, w it was really nice to, to read your um, comments. So please don't stop. Just keep on uh, putting them there. Um, so, but I did get uh, two questions. Uh, one question was about which uh, favorite size needle I like to use. And it's a little bit hard to choose. Um, I do use all three uh, like embroidery sizes, 24, 26, and 28. And the 24 is a little bit big for the 25 count and the higher count and 28 is um, sometimes a bit thin I think for 25 count and lower counts so I, I guess I would pick the size 26 between as a favorite needle and also I do like the 28 um, but uh, as I, I think I mentioned before that I usually get uh, the, the needle like breaks a hole in my finger when I stitch a lot. So that's why I don't like the 28. Otherwise I like it. And where do I order them? I order them in bulk uh, through Etsy. I buy at least 100, uh, but you can get them in 100, 200 and 300. And it is from a store in Lithuania called Pelada Crafts. Yes. And it's pretty close to Sweden. So it usually goes pretty fast to get them. It might not be, you know, the best quality of needles, but I like to use multiple needles when I'm stitching. And I like to have them like two to three on each uh, of my needle minders. So, uh, and, uh, I switch them out if they get, um, yeah, kind of used and they start making a squeaking sound when I stitch. So then I just switch them out. So, so I like them. And the other question was about my scroll frames. Oh, I'm sorry. The first question was uh, asked by Tracy Salt. Joe's, Joe's home asked me the other question about my scroll fr frames and she wanted to know which I'm using. And I'm using two different um, brands of scroll frames. Uh, I use the Millennium frame like this. This is the um, like uh, the the scroll bars, and this is the bar. And you use this thin thing to secure the fabric. So that's the millennium frame i do have the floor stand which is called the necessaire uh, i don't use it that much because i prefer my lowry stand and the millennium frames comes in many in many different sizes i love the frame it's the best frame i have uh, but it is a very small company in the uk and i know that they <laughs> the waiting list to get your order is pretty long. I've heard some people wait years to get it, years to get it, years to get it. But if you want to wait, I would 
absolutely recommend those frames. I was lucky to order them before the craziness started. So the other frames I use, almost the same frames. They look very much similar. And the, these are called the quantum frames. You use it like the same way. I don't like them as much. I've talked about it quite a lot on previous uh, videos, uh, but they're a lot cheaper and I got them like within two weeks. Uh, the company who makes them is called the Omanic Factory and it's located in Estonia. And it's also a small family business. So um, I think the frames are in like all, all the time, but if you want their floor stand, which I've heard is just amazing, uh, there might be like half a year waiting. I got the Lowry stand instead. So I hope that answers your questions. What's next? We will uh, jump straight to my week's progress. It has been yet another crazy week, you know. Um, I've been stuck with uh, helping my daughter with her uh, homeworks uh, every evening. So I haven't had that much time stitching. And it's been a crazy week at work. And uh, I've been going through some... Uh, decisions I, I don't know I haven't been feeling very well in my work I work as a, a supervisor for um, medical secretaries at the hospital and um, I started uh, the first of January this year and I was like uh, I was having a contract with them for like a year and after a year we were you know, supposed to see if I should continue or, you know, um, yeah, whatever. But it's official, so I don't have to hold back anymore. But I have decided to take a step back and go back to work as a, like, a normal medical secretary at the hospital uh, at the end of this year. And uh, that means quite a lot. Um it means that I don't have to supervise. I don't have to make any decisions for other people. Uh, instead, I'm just going to do the work, you know, um, and being more told what to do and work like with colleagues. And I'm really looking forward to go back to that uh, because I haven't been sleeping very well and I've been having a lot of anxiety going to work and at work and it's just been uh, very uh, it, it's been a, a difficult uh, time so I hope I'm I'm gonna feel better and be more positive and have more energy for my hobbies and my family it also means less money a month you know uh, in my paycheck so I won't be able to like go crazy with all the hole as I am now so but the important thing is to get better and uh, be happy. Yeah. So I haven't stitched that much, but I do have progress on all three designs. I forgot my calendar actually. Oh, never mind. Um, first, let's do the heaven and earth first because I kind of surprised myself. I was so happy the wheel chose spooky house it's a quick quick stitch of the treasure hunt bookshelf by amy stewart and i hardly got a thousand stitches in it was not fun at all i didn't enjoy it maybe it has had to do with me feeling as i'm doing but i'm so disappointed in myself i'm disappointed in myself i did not get much done Let's see. I just need to move my coffee. I better get a sip before I move it. <laughs> there we go. Yes, I was going to stitch 
823. <clears throat> this baby is stitched on 25 count magic guide, right? And I'm cross country stitching it. Yes, we got that right. Like you, you can see it's just, I've, I've done all the black and I was going to 823 and like the, the week before this week's question of the week was, which is the color I least like? And I ended up saying like 823 or 939. And then I was going to stitch 13,000 thousand stitches with 823. And I just got to do barely a thousand. So I stitched here and up there. That's it, people. That's it. I'm so disappointed in myself. I really thought I would get like 3000 at least. And I was also talking about that. Maybe I will kind of like dual stitch this with another head until I finished all the 823. No, I'm not going to do that. Now I just uh, dropped my sound recorder. Um, Maybe I will pull it out closer to Halloween again, but that's it for this week. Then I jumped over to my um, Hands Across the Sea sampler, uh, Jane Hearth, uh, 17, 17, 18, 18, 68. And uh, she stitched on 40 count with the silk threads called Soy Doll Share. Very nice, yes. And they're very fluffy and different from DMC, but I'm enjoying it. It's very ch shiny and beautiful. And I was kind of really enjoying this. I planned only. So this is the, the whole thing, right? It's one of their little gems as you buy, which you buy as a um, PDF. And I actually only plan to stitch those tiny, tiny, tiny birds. But then I just kept going and started on the big flower, uh, which is in the middle. And there is a mistake somewhere. I think it's it's this bird. It's one too high up. But as long as I don't use that bird anymore to count where to start something else, I don't think it will be a problem. That's what I did on that. But I saw that the... Um, If I'm not too tired and just think editing is too boring today, I will put up a picture here of Jane Hearth and you can see the flower there in the middle. There's lots of beautiful color colors there. So I hope I will start stitching on the flower the coming week. And the last two and a half days, I've been stitching on my Mirabilia portrait of Veronica. I just, I really, really enjoy stitching the Mirabilia. This is Veronica. And her dress, this part of the dress here is huge. I mean, humongous. I love it. It's, it's uh, I really, really, really enjoy it. As I, I said it so many times before, it's it's so easy to stitch. I have a paper pattern and I can use that and watch YouTube or something. And I, I need that to enjoy at the moment. And this is my progress. And she stitched on 32 count linen. Uh, it's the fabric which is called for. And now she's getting so big she won't fit in the frame. Should I back up? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's stunning, really. Oh, I love Mirabilia. I'm so happy I found them. And I'm stitching the Mirabilia uh, with two threads over two. 
using DMC. And of course, I only said that the Jane Hearth is stitched on 40 count using the silk threads, but I'm using one strand over two threads, right? Yes. So that's my progress. That was fast. For me, floss tube in the beginning was just to show the progress and that was fine. And then you can turn it off. Somehow I ended up adding so many different things, talking and talking and rambling, rambling. So good time goes. Yes. So what's next? We'll do uh, plans. The coming week, I'm planning on continuing with my Mirabilia. I'm kind of finish the back part of her dress. I feel like this uh, part, I really want to finish that. I'm I think I'm getting kind of close. After that, I can start with, you know, the light part of the dress. So I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, I'm gonna um, stitch some more on my sampler, of course, the coming week. And then it's the heaven and earth. So I still haven't gotten my fabric for my uh, Deliciosa. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I've emailed her asking where the fabric is but i'm i think she might bring the stuff to the retreat i'm going to in two three weeks oh it's getting so close I'm, uh and i'm very very nervous but it's gonna be great anyway i'm just gonna have to spin the wheel so uh all right let's see where's the wheel it's at the same place as every time So we're going to spin, let's see, last week I had to spin the wheel quite a few times to, you know, get past all the designs I already had stitched on. So, okay, three, two, one. Yes, yes. It's gonna be the supersized fantastic voyage yeah I'm happy I'm really happy I am going to get the design I will take a closer look at the progress I already have so I noticed that in the beginning of the first part of the video uh, my sound didn't record so you're just gonna have to do with the the bad sound from the telephone or the mobile. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. Maybe it turned off when it dropped on the floor. Okay, just shut up, Linda. Let's look at this heaven and earth. Oh, I thought I was gonna stitch only Mira this week, but this baby, this adorable, adorable thing, which way is it? <laughs> is stitched on 25 count. And I chose a gray color and I'm parking. Yes. Yes, I'm parking. I'm loving it. So this is my progress. This is the top left corner of the design. And if I'm not too tired and think it's too boring to edit, I'm sorry. It's one of those days. I will leave a picture up here. If you don't see it now, I didn't. So, and I'm, I'm pre, I'm gritting it. I'm pre gritting it with very thin fish line. And this fabric is much softer and more gentle to my fingers than the pre gritted <coughs> fabric. And I'm not using, you see a, um, a pillowcase as I have with like this thing over here. Um, so I'm just. I don't care if there is dog hair or if I drop coffee on it or whatever. I usually, it happens. It really has happened. I dropped coffee on my Mirabilia. Not the one I'm stitching now, the other one. Anyway, uh, and I'm having a eight by eight inch Q-snap for this. Yeah. Very very pleased. I don't have a thread pack. I wanted to order a thread pack. So super sized and it's regular colors. So there's not much of that. Uh, much of, there's 90 colors. Okay, whatever. Yes. And I bought one of the floss, floss bodies with the 90 colors and I put in all the colors. I just pulled them from my DMC collection 
Um, so now all these colors are missing in my collection. But, you know, I can only stitch one thing at a time, right? So, um, but it, it is tempting to order a, a thread pack. But since I'm kind of getting into another hobby, I don't want to spend any money on cross stitching at the moment. So, but Floss Buddy by Bi Bags Plus on Etsy. Go check her page out. I mean, this having the threads like this is making the whole process a lot more enjoyable. It's a lot faster. You find the threads right away and they're not falling out. They're not falling out. So I might bring this to the stitching retreat. Maybe. You think I'm happy? I'm very happy. Thank you, wheel. Uh, what's next? We're doing this fast. I know, I know what your guys are waiting for. You're waiting for the giveaway, which we're not supposed to call giveaway. We are calling this a rack or some stitchy kindness, but we're not doing that yet. We're going to look at haul. We talked about the floss bodies and I contacted this fair. Now all my haul went overboard. I don't have that much haul. Anyway, I contacted the very nice uh, person who's the owner behind Bags Plus and asked her because there were no more 90, like this one who holds 90 threads. She didn't have any more of those and I asked her if she made some custom orders and she said, oh yes, just tell me what you want. And I wanted a 90 floss buddy and I told her, you know, you have some very nice Halloween uh, fabrics so just surprise me but keep it Halloween themed and she did surprise me she did surprise me with this gorgeous fabric when I got it uh, well, I did you know I didn't know what to expect and inside it's gray and all 90 pockets and you have this little clip here as well if you want to hang something and you have a plastic thing here i think you can put, put like a pencil a marker and the, the ribbons gray this is right up my alley i love it so this is for my deliciosa i've gotten the floss pack thread pack I showed you guys last time so um, actually to to wind the thread up on bobbins I guess and put it in place and just wait for my fabric to arrive so that's one haul another thing I ordered oh that's bad of me I noticed some people using some thing like this when they park threads and you like push it open so it looks like this and you wind your threads, your part threads up and you close it and then it's just hanging there and protecting the thread. So I was like, I gotta get them. I've looked at them so many times and I found them on Amazon. Maybe we can find it somewhere else. And I found them on Etsy, someone from the UK. And I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't recall the name, but I will either add it here as I usually do or add a link in the description box. I bought a pack of two packs of 10 and he, drew, he reduced the price for as yes, if I bought one pack of 20. So I have 20 of these and I thought 20 I should do good for a while. So I'm going to start using these when I go stitch my fantastic voyage. So that's one haul. And then someone, I think it was Tracy Salt. I think it was Tracy Salt, the little enabler there, who threw me a comment 
tipping me about a group called Thread Drops something on Facebook. I'm, I didn't prepare for this, I'm sorry. Uh, thread uh, Keepers, I think it's called. And I really like the Thread keep Keepers. No, the Thread Fob. I don't like scissor fobs because I had a very heavy scissor fob on my scissor when it fell right onto my uh, my soft steel fabric and made a hole in it. Years back I fixed it, no worries. Since then I haven't used any scissor fobs, but I do like the thread fobs. And I asked her, you know, maybe I can get some thread drops for one of the Heaven and Earths, which has 90 colors. So I asked her and she said, well, I have, I have a hundreds, a hundred of these. And, you know, it's just paper, which you have been stamping out. And she has put this sticker here so you can um, write the number of the threads or the symbol, which is pretty nice. She said, I have a hundred of these. They're different colors, but they're all pastel, the same color and size, and they will, you know, fit good together. And I said, sure, I will get, I will buy the hundred from you. And what I also like about it is that now I have, maybe that's on, I can, you know, I can see how they're made. They're very nice, they're very sweet. I like the pastel color. It's pretty nice when you hold them like this. It looks like a cookie. <laughs> I love cookies, I'm sorry. Like the dimensions of the hole and everything. Uh, so I could try to get the material and try to make them myself. It would be cheaper, I think, in the long run, but this was a good price. Um, don't recall the price for these, but the whole thing, I, I ordered three uh, thread fobs as well. And all together with the shipping, I think I, I paid like 43 pounds and I think that's quite okay. And the, you know, she has a lot to choose between. And the thread fobs, oh my God, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. I looked through and I saw the foxes and I'm like, yeah, I need foxes. And I asked her, please just pick whichever, just don't, not the same. And she did, I mean, oh. This is like, um, And you have this thing hanging in front. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, oh, what do you call that animal in English? Igelkot, it's called in Swedish, if that helps. <laughs> hedgehog? Yeah, hedgehog, yeah, there. And this is the other one. And he has a squirrel. Squirrel. And this sweetie, they are so, pretty and she has she he has a fox and they have some nice weight to it so i was thinking since i wanted oh i just bumped you whoops um the fobs came in these mesh bags uh so my plan is um to put 30 each on these for a future project, Heaven and Earth project, of course. And as I said, she has lots of stuff uh, to choose between. It was a real pleasure and she was responding very fast. So I can highly recommend that. I will, I will put all the information uh, down in the description box. Yeah, I will do that with links and all. And this is her card. And that means I can say the Facebook group is called Pretty Little Thread Keeps. There you go. And I want to show you 
this beautiful piece, Apple Harvest, uh, I received from Lori Kilner from Canada, who had uh, by mistake gotten two of these. So this is like a real copy. She sent the the, the recipe for it, you know, so I can I could see that this was no fake copy or anything. So this is pretty nice. And she wanted to, um, for me to have this as a giveaway on my channel. So uh, this is one of the future giveaways. It's not gonna happen today, but in the future, and it's a harvest theme, kinda, you know, autumn stuff. So it's a 20 page, uh, full sized, full coverage. And it's very, very cute with all the teddy bears. And that was so nice of her to, to share with you guys. That's very nice. So I just wanted to share the design. And then I think I've made my second last order for a while with Hawking Hobby, Hawkins Hobbies. Uh, there is the Queen Bee, which is on like kind of back order. So she might come next month or later in September. So, but <clears throat> there were a couple of thread packs, no, uh, cross stitch kits I wanted. And one of them is Lady Justice. Yes, Lady Justice. The colors and her red hair and the sword and the, the thingy here is so beautiful. I will not stitch it on this uh, background. I will choose something else. And this for me is going to represent justice for all the children out there in the world who's not getting it for all the children who are mistreated, abused, harassed, you name it. And each stitch I'm gonna put in is for those children. And it makes me very sad there's a lot of children out there who, who's not getting justice. And <clears throat> we are going to take a little closer look. I'm sorry for the wrinkling. No, the crinkling. Yeah, I got a little bit turned up there. So since I didn't get the fabric, it's not, it's not one of the, you know, the big kits. So there's not so many beads, but we do have a little bit. Very pretty. The glass, the glass beads, they're kind of like a dark blue, iridescent or something, and then the gold. Beautiful. And then we have some critic glitter, glitter. Awesome. And then we have the threads. Look at those colors. Oh my God. Look at that one there. And look at the blues here. Beautiful. I can't wait. I love Mirabilia. Yeah, I'm, I'm... What's gonna happen? What will happen if I will favor Mirabilia's over hates? Is that possible? What will happen? Will I be punished? Will I go to hell? So many projects to stitch and so little time. Yeah. And then we got another kit, a kit I've been eyeing for months and it's been, it's so expensive. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, nope, 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 nope. And, and one important thing, I don't like mermaids. I don't like them. I don't find them pretty. Even though I have gotten four mermaid mirabilias and I don't like mermaids. I don't, I don't find them beautiful at all, but I got four mermaids from Mirabilia, who I just love. So I just had to get this mermaid for my collection of mermaids 
that I don't like. I don't want to stitch, but I need to have them and I need to stitch them. And this is the queen of all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I cannot believe it. I. She was expensive. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know why. Why is she so expensive? It's the amount of beads in Krennic or what? But I've seen close-ups of this beautiful mermaid and I'm like... Because when you look at the back, you know, it's not like any... It's all whiting out. I'm sorry. Maybe I should... Yeah, whatever. It's... I mean, it's not more than here in me it looks it looks the same but she's expensive and i just had to get the whole kit there's a lot of beads in here let's crinkle where do i open it where do i open it there this is the fabric it's not surged. I'm not happy about that, but hey, it's not the end of the world. It's a grayish blue. It doesn't look that good on camera, but it's, it's pretty nice. I might stitch her on this. I'm not sure yet, but I think she would do great on this. And then we have DMC threads, very blue very uh, skin like yes not so much but pretty always pretty chronic oops beautiful chronic that looked very green it doesn't look that green for real but oh i mean hello Come on, these are so beautiful. And six spools of Krennic? That just might indicate the, the uh, level of this thing. And the rest, <laughs> the rest of the package is beads, are beads. Is beads, are beads, I don't know. Is are, is are, you know. Grammar. And you're not going to be able to see any of it because it's just a big glare. There's lots of treasures and one, two, three, four, five different treasure beads and three different beads. And there's four, four. Oh yeah, there's two of the critics. Yes, different critics. So I don't know. I guess you can't get the... Um, like the embellishment pack anymore so i don't want to mess this up too much which i just did yeah but they put in some notes here saying that mh13083 has been replaced with mh13091 and Mill Hill 12141 has been replaced with MH12223. And then we have the MH13099 replaced with MH13051. And since I don't know, I can't compare it with anything. I'm sure they have done a great choice. I won't be, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. A lot of plastic, a lot of beads they sent an extra package of um it's one of them it was the mermaids of the deep design i ordered i think i showed it the last time or something and uh they have there was some mix up with whatever so they sent the extra beads for this package but they were supposed to send it with the queen bee but they sent it with this package without you know me asking for it so great service great service and they're gonna start doing the lissy kate kits i'm not gonna buy anything anyway and i ordered this little kit for halloween 
It's by Mill Hill. It's a full kit with threads and beads. It's called a Painted Pumpkin. I think this is adorable. It's small and cute. And this is also going to be a future giveaway when we're getting closer to Halloween. So keep an eye out. That's all for the hole. That's all the hole. We are going to take a look at last week's releases from Heaven and Earth. And I think I will just do a like a flip through on their Instagram. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to put in all the names of the designers. We'll see. So I will just uh, switch the screen. So yeah, um, this is uh, one of the new releases. It's called Tears of Mermaid by Tatiana Haustova. Very nice. And then we have Mermaid Moon by Selena Finnish. Comparing the two mermaids, I like the other one better. Ooh, this was a cool one. Uh, it's a super-sized Zodiac Max Colors by David Penfound. Penfound? Penfound. Very cool. Oh, one of my favorites. Also a new release. It's called Best Friends Forever. It's Max Colors. It's by Amy Stewart. And I know I ordered a quick stitch of this. No, I didn't. Well, I, I ordered them to make a quick stitch. Um which they did and there's like I removed a little bit I just wanted more focus on the the panda and the fox uh, but I wanted it to be a max color so it would cost me <clears throat> another 10 or 20 bucks to to make the request so I didn't yeah but I love this picture and then we have some butterflies um, Tropical Butterfly Max Colors by also David Penfund. Penfund. Penfound. Very pretty. Ooh. Candylicious Max Colors. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Amy Stewart, she knows how to do design I like this one this one must be so much fun to do and oh my god the confetti holy god <laughs> oh yeah but it's uh oh I love it yeah and then we have one of this uh for me this is a mermaid as well but it it's not uh Nova Max Nova with Max Colors by Amy Stewart. It's not so long ago they released her, but she is so beautiful. Oh, it's so much like gold and beautiful. The way she looks into, like she reads your soul, you know. Very pretty. This is going to be so interesting to see someone stitch. Her face would be so awesome. You know, imagine stitching that uh, skin color. Yeah, that would be so much fun. Yep. And then we have Between Heaven and Hell, Max Colors by Jasek Jessic Jerka. His art is just so cool really cool and I'm trying to figure out the like the theme between heaven and hell where is heaven and where is hell I don't know 
very nice oh yeah i like this one as well oh scott gustafson he knows how to do some real nice art peter peter pumpkin eater max colors it is so cute i totally could imagine stitching this yeah so 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 cute And then we have After School, oh, Max Colors by the past Leon, Leonid Afremov. I'm so horrible at names, but his art is just amazing. Yeah, I like this picture, After School. It brings out a lot of memories and feelings and emotions and love very pretty and we have a mini Tsuru Kame Tsuru Kame by Haroyu Morita yeah the geisha dresses oh my god it's like a world of its own very 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 beautiful gorgeous yes i love it i would not stitch it myself not this one i have one geisha i would like to stitch but um not this one but i think it would be a lot of fun stitching her dress oh my god we have a quick stitch is it or is it like no i don't think it's a quick stitch <laughs> It's Carnival Moon, Max Colors by Amy Stewart. Oh, it's gorgeous. So beautiful. I could stare at it for a whole day and you would find something new each time. And what's the story behind it? You know, why is she standing there is everyone looking at them coming? What's special about them? What is the man up there on the roof doing? You know? Love it. And that was the last one. So that's the latest releases. I think I, I actually went to look at the, the webpage of Heaven and Earth uh, before I started filming. And there were quite a few more releases there, but we'll do the instagram that's fine with me and let's do the question of the week before we do the giveaway um so uh the question of the week this week was where do you start and yeah so where should you start for me it's any design but heaven and earth i would start in the middle and work my way just out and around and I enjoy enjoy that and I think I enjoy doing that on heaven and earth as well actually because then you're like in the middle where everything is happening and not starting with some boring background however when I did start my heaven and earth I did start at the top in the top left corner and doing page one page two page three and on and on and on and yeah I think that's like the easiest way to start because what if you start somewhere on the fabric and you end up, you know, getting too close to the edge or something. I mean, who wants to do that on an heaven and earth? God, no. So I would say I do start in the top left corner for my heaven and earth, but I am not afraid and starting in the middle. Uh, I've done that on a few, for example, Soft as Steel and Midnight Watcher. And my Mirabilias have always started, started in the middle. Let me know in the comments, where do you start? And I'm drinking coffee, but it's caffeine free. Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't help. <laughs> now it is time for the giveaway. We're not supposed to call it giveaway. It is Stitchy Kindness. I'm saying let's celebrate September, some Stitchy Kindness. I want you guys to enter the word H A E D in the comments. And many of you have, 
and this is going to be very exciting. You also have to subscribe to my channel and you had to fill out the form. So I will do a draw. Okay, so we're at the common picker. Let's see, YouTube common picker. Um, I don't remember how I did this. I'm entering the YouTube um, link for the video. Filter duplicate users. Filter comments based on a specific text. Head. Get the YouTube comments. So we had 24 unique commenters on this video. So you have a very big chance of winning. Let's start the raffle and pick a random winner. And the winner is Lindsay Bridges. I'm working on my first hate and loving it. Now I want to start collecting, collecting charts Yes, I totally understand what you mean, Lindsay. Congratulations. Now, let's go check if you're a subscriber and if you have filled out the form. So, congrats. Uh, I did check out. Uh, she has um, filled out the form. I can't see which channels uh, you're subscribing to. Uh, so I went and checked quite a few of you who has entered and I can't see uh, if you're actually subscribing to my channel. And that is a, what you call it, a, um, well, you have to make that choice actually. So, um, okay, anyway, I mean, she actually fill, filled out the form. So that's uh, most the most important thing anyway, I guess. Because uh, you can always, you know, not subscribe after the giveaway. So, um, yes, that's all then. I, I'm really looking forward to which heaven and earth you'll be choosing. Very exciting. It's very fun to see what other people like. Another long video, I know I'm trying to be short. Maybe it'll get shorter in the future. Somebody wanted me to tell you guys more about my other hobby I'm getting into, the thing with the praying mantises and snakes. I guess I won't talk about them too much on my floss tube. I think I will make other videos about that since I'm a beginner there as well. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. So enjoy the weekend. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, leave comments, questions, answer the question of the week. And I will see you again next Saturday. Bye.